Hello, this is Spellbinder's report on the unfiltered news for this week from the Reality Zone, compiled by G. Edward Griffin for the time period of December 10th through the 16th. These are headlines and articles you may have missed during the week. Here's a comic strip for this week. I'd stop believing in the myth of a compassionate benefactor who cares about me. You've stopped believing in Santa? And the girl goes, Not you! Congress! You know, Congress was Santa Claus to a lot of people, and now they're showing that they're Satan Claus. That's not the point. Anyways, to the main headlines for this week. Video, Ron Paul in Iowa debate explains that government spending is out of control because of welfare and warfare advocates. He says that threatening war with Iran because they captured a CIA spy drone is insane. While he doesn't want more nuclear weapons in the world, he says the U.S. pays more respect to countries that have them. YouTube, December 16. This is true. We've only attacked countries that don't have nuclear weapons in the Middle East. And, and we don't attack Pakistan. We've killed some of their people and getting them mad, but Pakistan's too busy worrying about India and their nuclear weapons to worry about us offhand, but yet they have nuclear weapons too, and we're not really screwing them over, but we're, we're pushing the envelope. I mean, why don't we go after the uh, human rights of China? Because China is our milk cow for money right now that they're borrowing, which they're cutting off, but that's not the point. Anywho, U.S. Last minute deal reached in Congress to avoid government shutdown. Again, how did they do it? By authorizing the spending of another trillion dollars they don't have. <laughs> See how they do? They're, they're spending imaginary money. So when they finally have to say our money's worthless, we don't have nothing anymore. People, we better stop our government one way or the other. We better start stopping them by getting uh, control of the people that are policing the government. Like the Secret Service and everyone, the FBI, CIA, they need to be turned around and turned on our government to stop them. Tell them they're not going to get a paycheck anymore either if they keep this up. December 16th, Daily Mail, U.S. suspected WikiLeaks informant, Private Bradley Manning faces lifetime imprisonment for releasing classified documents and video of a U.S. helicopter attack in Iraq that killed civilians and two journalists. That's right. You, you know, you're not allowed to show that we're out there killing people left and right just for the fun of it. Yahoo, December 16th. Uh, audio, 10th Amendment Center founder Michael Bolden explains the origin and importance of the Bill of Rights. Very important history lesson here, people. Be sure to listen to the audio. TAC, December 15th. France, former president Jacques Chirac is found guilty of embezzling taxpayer money to fund his political party. Although found guilty, he was given a suspended sentence and will serve no jail time. The elite seldom are punished for their crimes, don't you know? Yahoo, December 15th. Video, nuclear engineer Arnie Gundensen explains why it is unlikely that Fukushima will create a China syndrome with a groundwater steam explosion, but he also tells why the situation is very serious. Radioactive water is seeping into the groundwater and spilling into the Pacific Ocean, which is very bad. Fair winds, December 14th. U.S. An advisor to Barack Obama who played a key role in the developing energy provisions of the so-called stimulus bill has... Severed are served on him the boards of several companies that recently received government funds. Hmm, imagine that, including hundreds of millions in stimulus money. Insider influence in Washington, D.C. is the rule, not the exception. Wind or World Net Daily, December 14th. Synthetic biology in which scientists are altering and creating new life forms is out pacing natural adaptation. It is expected that man-made viruses soon will allow control over human minds. 
That's right. That's what the goal was for a thousand years. Daily Mail, December 14th. U.S. The House passed a revised version of the indefinite detention bill that allows U.S. citizens to be imprisoned without charges or trial. The wording was made deliberately vague so that no one can argue for certain whether Americans will be exempt and, if so, under what circumstances. This will cause it to be a tested in courts and ultimately the Supreme Court will decide unless the states discover their backbone and nullify the law under the Tenth Amendment. Voice of America, December 14. Obama backed away from his threat to veto the indefinite detention bill. <laughs> Imagine that, the dictator. Obama's threat was showmanship because it was he who insisted that American citizens be included in the first place. The Atlantic, December 14th. U.S. 30 top corporations that spend more on lobbying than they paid in federal taxes. They receive huge tax breaks because they lobbied Congress. Daily Mail, December 14th. Very disgusting. U.S. Sheriff Richard Mack. A member of the Freedom Force Hall of Honor plans to file a lawsuit against the Southern Poverty Law Center for slandering constitutionalist. Mac also plans to run for Congress in Texas. Very good. Hope he wins. New American, December 14th. Here is a beautiful video. It says the beauty of pollinization. Click to be amazed how this works. Back to the news. Headlines. U.S. Dick Cheney urges outright military attack on Iran over loss of CIA spy drone. Anti-war, December 13th. That's right. That's their excuse. They let. They probably landed the damn thing for them. And then told them that they did it. So they could go to war with them over it. Yes, let's go to war over something like this. They're not attacking us or anything. We'll just go over there and destroy them because... Well, they tell us that they're evil and everything. But if you do some research on, on Iran, you'll find that most of the people control their, their, their synagogues and stuff over there or their churches of uh, Muslims and stuff. And that the main people are just wise men. U.S. troops from Iraq have been secretly transferred to the Syrian border as NATO prepares for another so-called humanitarian intervention. Infowars, December 13. The total of Federal Reserve emergency lending to Wall Street is not $1.2 trillion as Fed Chairman Bernanke contends, nor the $7.7 .7 trillion figure reported by Bloomberg News. The real number, says Professor of Economics L. Randall, Ray is a staggering $29 trillion. Yes, my friends, our money is nothing but monopoly money. Newsmax, December 13th. Video, pennies are used to represent how much money the Federal Reserve has taken from taxpayers and given to the U.S. and foreign banks and corporations. Very graphic. YouTube, December 13th. I've also seen the one where it shows when they were going to do these uh, things for Congress was going to cut a trillion dollars in 12 years and they showed it was like a stack of 10 pennies out of 200 pennies. I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ron Paul says he'll cut a, thou I'll cut a trillion the first year he's in office easily and then go from there easily. UN climate conference resulted in several vague agreements for legally binding emission reductions per Cato Treaty and the establishment of a hundred billion a year green climate fund to redistribute wealth. That's right. Take the money from your pocket and give it to someone that doesn't deserve it. Canada dropped out of the treaty, but the UN says that country is not free of its voluntary responsibilities. That's right. It's like the taxation. If you don't voluntarily pay your taxes, which that's what it says in the code, you will be voluntarily robbed of everything by the IRS. <laughs> What's up with that? December 13th. U.S. presidential candidate Newt Gingrich proposed death penalty for possessing a possession of 200 marijuana joints, the equivalent of a carton of cigarettes. Uh, mediate December 13th. 
Uh, interesting. Anything to get a vote. U.S. Ron Paul blasts Justice Department Chief Eric Holder on the Fast and Furious gun scandal and says criminal charges should be filed against him. Examiner, December 13th. Eric Holder should be in prison right now for crimes against America. Alrighty, next. U.S. Ron Paul, who is also a medical doctor, introduces legislation to prevent federal funding for mental health screening of children. He says Big Pharma is lobbying for screening to generate a larger market for psychotropic drugs for children. You know, the Ritalin and Prozac thing where they schools get $2,000 a head if they get kids addicted on that stuff. Mm. Check it out. Do your research. Pakistan has evicted the CIA from its drone base there after 25 Pakistani, Pakistani soldiers were killed last month by U.S. drones. A senior Pakistani official said that the U.S. drones that invaded its airspace will be shot down. That's right. And we need to leave there. Save a lot of money. MSNBC. December 12th, U.S. Occupy protesters tried to shut down three ports on the West Coast and are partially owned by Goldman Sachs. But truck drivers and port workers are the ones who suffered. The leaders of OWS claim they want to dismantle capitalism but fail to realize that capitalism in America was replaced by socialism decades ago. Check out the uh, Ten Planks of Communism by Karl Marx, and you'll know that we're already least communist. Investment banks like Goldman Sachs are partners with government. Protesters should be demanding an end to the partnership and calling for restoration of the true free market economy. San Francisco Gate, December 12th. Montana Home Builder who used 100% American-made products says that if builders used only 5% more U.S. products, it would create over 200,000 jobs immediately. Builder supply list is included in the article. ABC News posted uh, December 12th. UK, small town grows fruit and vegetables in the public places and offers them for free for the taking. has many beneficial effects on local culture. may become the world's First food self-sufficient town. Daily Mail, December 10. I think everyone should be doing this in every town. Japan, Fukushima reactor number four is at serious risk because the water pools that are supposed to cool the spent fuel rods may be dry. Government and media blackouts prevent confirmation. Washington Post, December 8th. Occupy Wall Street, Los Angeles. Protesters and sitcom writer explains how L.A. police aggressively terrorize and arrest peaceful protesters. He's, he contrasts this with the fact that criminals from Wall Street and Washington, D.C. who stole trillions from taxpayers are not pursued by the police. That's because the police are getting money from the very criminals. Newsy, Newsy uh, December 6th. Video, U.S. Senator Carl Levin reveals that the provision in the recent bill that allows American citizens to be imprisoned indefinitely or without charges and without trial was requested by the Obama administration. Sherry questioning all, December 11th. U.S. local police now are using military drones to spy on Americans in their backyards without a warrant. Daily Mail, December 11th. See, people, you're in a police state don't even know it. Video, Ron Paul leads the pack against the latest GOP debate in Iowa as he explains the problems with the Federal Reserve, big spending, big government. He's the only candidate that addresses these issues squarely and honestly and has been doing it for 30 years. RonPaul.com, December 10th. An international cancer expert says that the chief cause of cancer today is the use of vaccines. That's right, they got cancer viruses in it. SV4. It's a monkey cancer virus. He says that all of them are contaminated with harmful viruses, bacteria, and chemicals. Salam News, December 10. Scientists admit that recommended breast cancer screening harms more than it helps. Here's why. Natural Society posted December 10. Sheriff in Elkhart County, Indiana, blocked federal agents from inspecting local raw milk farm without a warrant. This is yet more indication that the county 
The county sheriffs increasingly are making a correct interpretation of the supremacy clause of the Constitution and limits to federal power. The complete patient posted December 10th. And I'm going to run out of time here. Uh, video, George Bush, you forgot, is a wake-up call on the fact that collectivist politicians tell voters what they want to hear but don't mean a word of it. And they do it as so well. They do it so well. Obama did. He tricked everyone. YouTube posted December 15th. Well, that's it. You're going to have to go here. I'll put the link at the bottom of the page and you'll check it for yourself. Good day.